colonists, please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, colonists. My name is Mrs. Cuellar. Today is Friday, May 21st, and this is the very last video of the 2020-2021 uh, school year. I'm so happy to be making this video for you today. You made it to the very end. Um, I know uh, next week the 9th, 10th, and 11th graders um, have your finals and maybe some other things. Um, I know seniors, you are um, ending your school year very, very soon. Um, I know some of you may be turning in last minute assignments and taking your finals and doing all the things you need to do to make sure that you graduate. Um, so good luck to you. I, I hope everyone is where they want to be. Um, and for those of you who may not be where you want to be and you're enrolled in summer, just wanna make a reminder to uh, continue to check your email. I know Tuesday is the last day of school, but you wanna continue checking your email all next week, um, as well as all the way up until the first day of summer. Uh, your counselors will continue to communicate with you regarding summer school and like finalizing everything. Um, remember, there are lots of different options for summer school. Um, some of you may have uh, been referred to taking a seat-based in-person class here at the Colony. Some of you may be taking a class through Pacific Coast High School or through Access. And remember, you're going to be receiving information directly from those schools. Uh, right before summer and obviously uh, you will be checking your personal email at that point um, and so just make sure that you're on top of things. I know summer break is here um, but you want to make sure that you're following up on your responsibilities and that you are completing summer and the classes that your counselor referred you to. It is very 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 important that you take advantage of that this summer and get caught up on credits um, I know this year has been incredibly difficult for many of you, um, and so this is your opportunity to get caught up on credits, um, and congratulations to those students out there that are thriving and doing well in your classes. Keep going, um, and we'll, you know, we'll see you in the fall. Also, for students that have signed up for dual enrollment this summer, um, I will be finalizing all of the special admins and making sure those are approved for you so that you can register for your classes. Um, and again, uh, if, if you still need steps uh, to complete in order to do a summer dual enrollment class, make sure that you are contacting our Fullerton College rep, Catherine Inoosa, um, and so that she can help you with your steps, okay? Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to email me, I can help you. Um, okay, what's next? Uh, so let's continue to talk about dual enrollment. Um, a lot of you have signed up for our embedded dual enrollment program, and those are classes during the school day. Um, and so uh, a rep from Fullerton College, Bryce Hamamoto, will be contacting you if he hasn't already um, regarding your steps to get enrolled for the fall. Um, there, he will be offering uh, workshops and, and um, support so that you can get your steps completed. And then he also will be doing a parent information session so that your parents uh, can understand how to get enrolled, all of the process and things like that. So please be on the lookout for an email from uh, Bryce. Um, I gave him, um, you know, all of the rosters for the students that are taking classes next year during the school day. So again, very, very important to continue to check your email um, and make sure that you stay on top of things with that. For those of you that have signed up for ROP classes this summer, they are rolling out all of the acceptances via email. Again, that's via your personal email. So again, you wanna make sure that you are checking your personal email and following the steps that they gave you um, within that email in order to confirm your spot in the class. So there is that step. You do need to confirm your spot in order to take the summer classes through ROP. And that could be medical careers or body systems. Um, and so again, you don't wanna lose out on that opportunity, especially if you wanna take 
uh, medical assistant program or the nursing program or even EMT in the fall. Okay, so it's very important that you follow through. I did see that we're, there were a couple of emails that got returned. So I will be contacting you via your school email uh, to get that fixed and so that you can, um, you know, confirm your spot in the ROP class and not miss out on that opportunity. Um, so look for an email from me. If you, again, if you have questions about ROP, dual enrollment, anything like that, please do not hesitate to contact me. And then I just want to shout out to our Simon Scholars. Um, we had 15 uh, potential Simon Scholars uh, in our final uh, round. And we had interviews this week on Monday and Tuesday. Um, I had the distinct pleasure to sit on the interview panel. Um, and so I know Simon Scholars is a brand new program this year. We are selecting our first class of Simon Scholars for the class of 2023. We had a very large applicant pool to choose from. A lot of stellar 10th graders in the class of 2023. You made it very, very difficult, um, but we have chosen our class. Um, I wish I had the names, the final names uh, to announce today. Um, unfortunately, I do not, um, but I'll definitely be making a big deal about it in the fall um, as we present our class of 2023 Simon Scholars. Um, and this group is absolutely amazing. I'm so proud that they're gonna be representing Anaheim High School um, moving forward. And then obviously, if you are a ninth grader right now, you will have the opportunity to apply for the Simon Scholars Program next year. Um, this coming um, you know, fall, we will be opening up to the class of 2024. And so if you, you know, the minimum GPA again for that is a 3.25, um, all the way up to above a 4.0. So be on the lookout for that. I will be starting to recruit um, for that late, late in the fall, but just know that that opportunity is coming. So again, super, super proud of the 15 finalists for the Simon Scholars that interviewed this week. Super, super proud to, um, you know, just be a part of this process. It's super exciting. So uh, students and staff stay tuned. Uh, we will make a, an announcement uh, when we get the final names that should be uh, happening at the end of next week at the latest. And then also a couple things on the calendar for next week for our seniors. Um, on Tuesday, uh, May 25th is our Senior Awards. It will be on YouTube. Uh, usually we have our award ceremony in Cook Auditorium, but obviously we can't do anything in person, but we've been all working very hard to make sure that we have um, a great award ceremony ready for you. It's dropping on YouTube at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. I hope everyone can attend that uh, via YouTube. And then obviously on Thursday is graduation, seniors at six o'clock. Um, seniors only get two tickets per person. So most of you, if you are uh, friends with seniors and you really wanna be a part of the ceremony, you will have to watch it via live stream. Um, and so that will be available on Thursday as well. Again, the ceremony starts at 6 p.m. So congratulations to all of the seniors that are graduating. Super proud of you for getting through this crazy year and a half being virtual. Um, you did it, good job, and can't wait to see all of your beautiful faces, um, you know, via the mask on Thursday. And um, to the rest of you, hope you have a wonderful summer. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. And I will see you back in August. Bye.